so uh, you know uh, by and large that that uh, what we did is is the basic logic uh, that we can use any of the algorithms uh, which are there in a husky lens and then uh, for microbit we just do the same connection and then if some condition is true then we can you know uh, make something happen so whether we make something happen on the microbit or we attach some component and you know make that component work that's all like whatever we have done earlier okay uh, so for example uh, uh, you can try uh, i'm going to give you two three examples so that uh, uh, you know when we when we break you can try any of them so there is uh, another algorithm in husky lens it's called object classification uh, and object classification for example you can do something like this you can you know train the model to recognize a face with a mask and without a mask so i'll just show you this one uh, so uh So the process is the same uh, here. I'm, I'm using a photograph with a mask and without a mask. So on in my Husky lens, I am I'm, uh, clicking the left one and then I am going to object classification. So I've got face recognition, object tracking, object recognition. So we look at some of them later, but right now I'm looking at object classification. Uh, so I'm selecting object classification and then it looks at the first one so again uh, you just have to place the you know plus mark so i can say forget and then i get this plus mark if you can see the plus mark i can uh, put it on the face and then i can uh, keep the learning button the one on the right i can keep it pressed and i can take so ideally I'm using a 2D, so it doesn't really matter, but if you're doing it, you just move the camera while holding the right button. So then it will take like, you know, whatever, some 20, 30 photographs, uh, and that's how it will learn. Uh, so if, you know, ideally when you're pointing it to some person, you can ask the person to turn their head around so that the camera captures them from different angles. Uh, so let's do it again. So now I have another photograph and this is uh, uh, the the one with the mask so i am taking the plus sign i am putting it on the object and i am clicking the right button this one and i'm i keep holding it and as i'm like i mean ideally the person should move but i am just kind of moving the person here so now i've i've got two uh, husky lens has learned two ids so if i go here it's ID object ID one. And if I go here, it's object ID two. So the one with the mask is object ID two. And we can test it. If I put it here, uh, whether, uh, uh, you know, so this is, this is a face on which I have not trained Husky lens, right? Uh, it's just another face with a mask. And uh, this is what I was explaining earlier that uh, you know, it, as you can see, there's sometimes Husky Lens is saying it's object ID 2, sometimes it's saying 1. The, this is because in AI, like it's calculating probabilities. So we haven't trained Husky mass, a Husky Lens on this particular face, but it can by and large uh, figure out that this is a uh, face with a mask. Uh, and like here, I've got another person. I have not trained it, uh, uh, trained Husky Lens on this face. But Husky Lens is looking at it and it is identifying it as object ID 2. That means object ID 2, as you know, is the one with the with the mask. And the one without the mask is object ID 1. So what I'm saying is that because we took, uh, you know, multiple photographs, uh, it is able to use the same algorithm even for cases where it has not been trained. So I trained it on my face, but these are just random faces with masks. 
and it is able to uh, figure out that this face has a mask okay uh, so the difference here is that here when i'm uh, while training if i wanted to train it on a third id then i would have to uh, i will click this button and hold it and either the person should move their face around or you move the camera around and you let the this is like google teachable machine you are giving more more samples to the to husky lens uh, so that its accuracy works better and once you have done this then the you know the program is uh, pretty much the same one second uh So I'm back in uh, make code. Uh, so we are doing the same. I mean, the first one is the same. We are saying Husky lens initialize I2C until success. And then I'm adding something. You can add, add whatever. Actually, it automatically gives you a check mark if I remember correctly. Uh, when once the I2C is, communication is established uh, on, uh, on your micro bit, there should be a check mark. But I'm adding a different command here to show a heart. So this will tell us whether the uh, micro bit is communicating with the Husky lens properly or not. If it is not, then like I said, check your hardware, check your connections. Is your blue wire going to pin 19 and, uh, you know, uh, green wire to pin 20? Uh, check, go in the protocol, check the protocol, make sure it's I2C. Okay. And then uh, again, the next command is the same Husky lens request data once and save into the result. And here, uh, we have trained it only on two. So rather than three, we've got it on two. So I'm just going to delete uh, this. So we only need to make sure that Husky Lens has learned two IDs. Uh, if ID one is learned and if ID two is learned. And then again, I'm deleting one of these. And then uh, it's the same command. We are saying if Husky Lens, if ID is one on the frame, then do something. And if ID two is on the frame, then do something. And I'm saying last time we used strings, but basically inside this, inside this, you can put whatever you want, right? So this is yeah, like regular programming. So I can, I can, uh, uh, I can, again, I can go there and put some icon. So ID one is without the mask. So I'm putting a cross. So it will say like no entry uh, and I can duplicate this and I can put it here and I can say check. Uh, 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 this is the one with the masks. That means let the person through. Okay. Uh, and then you can add more things. I mean, then there, there's no problem here. So you can go to music and uh, you can, you, you know, you can play some tone. Uh, so you can play tone and just say here in the background. Uh, so just play some tone C, uh, you know, and then go back. So I'm saying whatever, whatever you like, you can, uh, you know, you can put, uh, any of this so I can play some melody so you know show this and what I can do is I can put it here uh, and make sure you say in the background if you say until done then the whole music will play and then the next command will get executed but if I just say in the background it will start playing and the next command will get executed okay so again I'm going to transfer this to my micro bit And uh, let's see, this This is the face. Okay, so when I have the mask, uh, without the mask, I have a cross uh, on my micro bit, and uh, there was a there was some sound playing earlier. Uh, you may not be able to listen to the sound. So now I'm saying with the mask, it's object ID two, and I have a I have a, a, a tick, and uh, you know whatever melody is supposed to play, 
it will play. Uh, um, here, you know, it's not playing properly because I am using the old micro bit here. This is not micro bit version two, it's version one. Uh, but when you will use version two, all the music and everything will play. Uh, so if I try to hold both of these together, and then if I change, so... Uh, So when it is one, you get a cross. And when it's object two, you get a tick. So both, you know, uh, micro bit is working fine. Uh, and it's recognizing object classification. Okay. So, uh, so I'm saying that, you know, that's basically that's it about a Husky lens. All the algorithms work in a, in a similar fashion. And what matters is what you do with it. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things and I'm going to explain one or two other things and then you can, you know, I'll leave, leave you to try things. Um, so let me go back here. Uh, so for example, the color one that which I had showed earlier. Okay. Uh, so this is the color one. So we remember we trained Husky lens to recognize colors and I have, I had made this project earlier. I'm just going to play it. Uh, this one is, uh, you know, that this robotic car uh, recognizes uh, 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 red and green signal. So, uh, let me just uh, go here. So this is all on my channel. So I'm just going to YouTube. And so you can also watch it later. So basically this is the one. Uh, so it, when it recognizes the red color, it stops and uh, you know, it, otherwise it's moving. So it's also got some other sensors. Uh, it's got a ultra, uh, uh, it's tracking, uh, it's got infrared sensors. So it's also tracking the black line. Uh, but mainly what I'm showing you is the color recognition. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to stop for a second and, and uh, just uh, wait for questions if you have any. Uh, otherwise, I'll show you a couple of other. Okay, so next we are looking at object recognition and Husky lens can recognize these 20 objects. So uh, bicycle, uh, aeroplane, bird, boat, bottle, dog, cat, all these things. Uh, so again, what we are doing is we are clicking this one and we are going to go to, uh, we are going to go to object recognition. So I have got object recognition here. I am selecting object recognition and see it's already, uh, it's saying my iPad, it was recognizing, recognizing it as a computer TV screen or something. Okay. TV monitor. Okay. Uh, TV monitor. Okay. And if I go here, then if I am showing it a horse, it's, rec it's recognizing it. Ah, it's recognizing it as a horse now. Okay. So this, these 20 objects, it's pre-trained to recognize cat, uh, dog, and potted plant, bottle, sheep so so i'm saying these 20 objects to answer your question these 20 objects the uh, uh, husky lens can recognize and it doesn't call them id1 id2 it calls them you know cat and dog and whatever those for only for those 20 objects okay so let's make a program for these 20 objects okay uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to make like a smart dog house 
okay a uh, smart dog house means when husky lens will see this dog it will open the door to the dog house here okay uh, and if there will be no dog in the screen so there when there is no dog in the screen then it will uh, it will close okay so to do this what you have to do is uh, you have to so i am on object recognition okay so object recognition i am going to take my my plus and put it on the dog okay and then hopefully so in my case you know i've got all these lights on now so it's it it is having problem but uh, it's recognizing it wrong it's saying it's a bird uh, yeah okay dog and once it is dog sorry uh so you just have to press the this button okay i'm just going to go out of the screen uh, and i'm just pressing the right button okay it should actually you try it later when you are doing it with uh, you know any object that it recognizes and it should when you press the the learn button here uh, when you put the cross and in my case it is not recognizing it properly it's saying it's a bird but a uh, dog it it will say dog id 1 okay Uh, one second. Yeah, can you see it's it's identified it and it's calling it dog ID one. Uh, so. this is a combination of both the things that that you were talking about that it is recognizing it as a dog but it's also now assigned it an id so it's ca calling it dog id 1 just like earlier on it was saying atul id 1 something like that okay so anyway i'm saying this recognition process is the same <clears throat> for the object classification those 20 objects it will auto recognize them as you know cat dog whatever 20 those 20 objects are and now what i'm trying to do is i i'm going to take uh, you know in my uh, uh in my program i want to operate a servo okay so what i want is i have a i have a a, a system here so it's basically you know just a uh servo motor and uh, you know so i am just going to make the servo motor go left and right okay uh, just make the servo motor turn so i am saying when it will see the dog my dog imagine that this is the uh, this is the door of the dog house i want that if the dog is there the door should open and if the dog is not there the door should close in simple words all i am saying is when some object is recognized i want to operate a servo and just like the servo you, then you can operate whatever you like whether it's a motor or a led or anything that is attached to the micro bit we can then operate it uh, with the help of i mean with the help of micro bit but based on the recognition done by husky lens okay so to operate a servo in in make code i need to add the servo extension so i'm saying add extension i'm saying servo i'm searching for servo and i'm adding the servo library okay my programming is is the same it's saying husky lens initialize i2c then i'm saying the algorithm now is object recognition so i'm selecting object recognition then i'm saying forever husky lens request data once and save it into the result okay and then uh let's say id 1 means the dog is there and id 2 means there is no dog those are the two things or whatever you have trained it on it could be color it can be 
any of those uh, you know algorithms that uh, uh, that you can recognize with uh, husky lens all we are saying is when some something is recognized now we are going to operate a, a external component and in this case we are going to operate a servo motor so all that then we have to do is come here on servo and then set it to some angle so i'm saying if object 1 is recognized let's say red color is recognized or dog is recognized or whatever algorithm some face is recognized because you can easily imagine that uh, you know this servo was operating a door and it was based on facial recognition so when it sees my face the door should open any other face it should not open okay so then what we can do here is i can because we just we have trained it only on one id dog id 1 nothing else okay so i'm saying if id 1 is recognized then let the servo be let's say 0 degrees and then i'm just going to say else which means for anything else i want the door closed so for anything else i'm saying duplicate this and let's say the door close is 180 degrees so my servo will be uh, uh, my door will always be closed when it recognizes my face or the dog or whatever you have trained it on red color whatever then it will turn okay so i'm going to pause here because i'm going to set up my own uh, you know this whole servo things and everything but you can try to do the same i hope you know how to operate a servo on a micro bit uh, if not when we come back i will anyway explain the whole thing to you uh, but i'm going to uh, uh, pause here and you try making the same thing operate a servo based on some algorithm an algorithm can be any of those algorithms it can be color recognition face recognition object recognition whatever you like okay uh if you have any questions before we stop then let me